Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Candace Lover. You know I got so. Hey, Candace. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. You know, thank you for taking the time up for the interview. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. For sure. So I just want to start off your new album, Music Speaks, been out for a month now. Can you kind of just take me through the process of putting that album together? Yeah. Um, well, it took a really long time. It was originally supposed to come out on July or June uh, 16th, one of them. But um, it's been out for a while. I felt like, you know, to make a good quality album, I needed a little bit more time. And so we pushed it to October, and then I still wasn't ready. I'm a, a really big perfectionist. So um, I was in the studio with some really great people to come up with some good songs. And um, it was Rock City and Harvey Mason Jr. and the Underdogs, and, and um, just to name a few. But um, at the end of it all, I'm really excited and really proud of the work that I just put out. Cool. And, you know, as far as the sound and the direction of the album, it has a very soulful and throwback type of sound to it. So what kind of drew you to that type of music? Um, uh, when I was younger, I, would, I grew up in church, so that's why I started singing. But um, more than anything, I was listening to, to different people like Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston, and, them, and they were all really soulful. And um, also Christina Aguilera, so she was the one that really inspired me to start singing because I heard her music when I was younger. I think I was probably around nine or ten and wanted to sing just like her. So that's where most of uh, like one thing and stuff like that, that's where most of that comes from. Okay, cool. And, you know, you mentioned all these producers that you worked with. Um, what was the biggest thing you learned, you know, while putting this album together? Um, I learned that music is, is definitely essential to anybody's life. It's, it's important for everybody. And also, like, while singing in the studio and, like, the different words and stuff that we would write, when I was writing with uh, the Jackie Boys and whether it was Rock City that was writing for me, um, it basically says whatever I want. Like, they were asking how I felt that day, and, and even when I was younger and I used to be really shy and, and used to get used to stuff, I really didn't know how to talk to people. I really didn't know what to say, but there was always music that would explain however I felt. So that's where the title of Music Speaks came from. But um, I also learned that music gives you whatever confidence you need. It, it says whatever you need to say sometimes you don't know what to say. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, you mentioned that the album, you know, the date was changed a little bit um, a couple of times. Was it frustrating for you to see it changed? Because I know, you know, you won American Idol and you had all that momentum going and then there was that wait. Um, you know, was that frustrating at all? Right. Um, at first it was really frustrating. I, I felt like everybody was going to forget about me. Nobody would want to hear my music after a couple of months. And, and I actually thought at first that it was going to be a good idea to drop it in July. But I would rather put out, you know, a good quality album instead of putting out something that's not that good just because I'm trying to rush it. So I'm, at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm proud of the decision that I made. But at first, I was really, I was really nervous. But after a while, I, I just got over it because I wanted to make it. Cool. And, you know, of course, winning American Idol meant a lot of ex expectations were placed on you. You know, what kind of expectations did you have going into your project? Um, I, I didn't want people to expect me to put out something that other people did. I think a lot of times I see a lot of comments and stuff on Facebook or Twitter and they think that the things that I'm doing are, are things that I'm assigned to do. But, um, I didn't want to be the American Idol winner that just let people control whatever happened. Which is why, another reason why I pushed the album, um, back to what I pushed it to because I wanted to do everything that I wanted to do. So, um, I think people were kind of expecting me to to be the the usual. But I don't I don't know because before me there were five guys that one so my music couldn't have sounded like theirs. I wanted to sound like the soulful girl that I grew up, you know, listening to and the girl that I wanted everybody to connect with that they connected with from American Idol. So I didn't wanna wanna, you know, veer off from that. I wanted to stay true to that. I didn't want people to think that I would get off the show and make like a pop out because that wasn't me on the show, so I didn't want to turn and, and do something different. Yeah. And, you know, I think one of the biggest challenges is, you know, so many people followed you on American Idol. The biggest challenge is sort of making them transition from being fans of you on American Idol to being supporters of your music. So um, how has that kind of process right. been for you? Um, it, was a, it was a hard process at first. I had to go from an American Idol contestant to an American Idol winner, and then I had to leave that and actually be a recording artist that people actually took seriously. Because I think a lot of people look at me as, a girl who just won a talent show, 
a girl who just happened to win a, a competition, but I wanted to be taken more seriously as an actual artist because I feel like, you know, my music says a lot and it connects with a lot of people. I don't want people to be like, well, that's the girl who just won her title. So there's more to me than that. But I even had to go through a process where I had to stop considering myself as that. So it took a while, but I think I'm, I'm getting there now. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, you won American Idol. Um, you know, what advice would you go, uh, would you tell people who want to pursue music, you know, in that route, you know, through TV show? Like, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, I think that it's, it's the best platform. If you want to get your music out there, I'm from a, a really small town. It's an island. There's no, you know, musical opportunity. It's beautiful, but there's no music there. So I felt like going on a show was highway. And other people might have different ways, but I think that um, the TV shows, which, whichever one, is a good platform if you want to get your career started. So I would just say, do your best and go there and be yourself and don't try to be anybody else. Yeah. And, you know, kind of talk about the vo- uh, the growth in your voice and stage presence since the be- beginning of American Idol up until now, because I've noticed a lot of growth. A lot of growth in my vocals? Vocals and stage presence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, when I started American Idol, I had never had any experience doing any type of choreography or anything in front of people. I would just stand there and sing in church, or I would stand there at college shows and sing a small ballad and something like that, but... Um, American Idol taught me um, better stage presence. It taught me different things. And even my mom would even say, my mom and dad would always tell me um, half of the things that I did on American Idol, like with my voice, I had never done in church or anything. So I think as time went on and I got these different songs from these different genres that I'd never heard of before, I think all of that had something to do with, with my voice change. But it's really different now than it was before I started. Yeah. And, you know, now that your album's out, can you just kind of take me through the moment when you kind of saw your album in stores and saw it on the shelves? Um, <laughs> to this day, I, I still cry or I still get really emotional when I think about the um, the process that I had to go through to make the album and, and the fact that I spent, you know, months, I, it was probably about eight months after I won, I spent day in and day out, you know, in the studio, listening to these songs and making sure everything was fine, all the notes were good, if I didn't want a certain word there, and, and just to see that other people are listening to it and seeing me, and then I go and target or I go to Best Buy and see it in there, I have to buy it, I can't, I can't leave it in there, because it's like, it's like my baby, like, I, I made it, and I'm so proud of it, but still, even now, I still get really emotional thinking about the process that I had to go through for it, and, and now that people actually connect with it and like it, it's a lot to think about. Yeah, and you know, what's coming up for you? Oh, uh, well, I just left Canada not too long ago. I'm going to be in a Christmas movie this coming December on Hallmark. It's called um, The North Pole, and I have a small role um, on that movie. Um, I'll be doing a lot of traveling to different um, countries, and hopefully we can get um, a tour started, but I also don't want to tell you everything before it gets before it gets like set in stone because I don't want to change it or anything but right. as soon as I can I'll tell everybody sounds good and um, that's all the questions that I had for you is there anything that you'd like to add? oh no just thank you and thank everybody for supporting the album and I hope everybody enjoyed it